Hi everybody, this is Angelica. Thank you so much for watching. This video is called Break Your Habits and Always Do Something Differently. So when you are in a certain routine and you have a certain schedule set out for yourself and you're constantly doing the same things over and over again, this can be problematic when it comes to breaking out of your habits. Now, it's good to have a schedule, of course, um, it keeps you in, in line. It keeps you on a consistent track um, towards your health goals, towards your work goals, towards your family goals, whatever it is that you have going on in your life. A schedule is important. So I don't mean don't have a schedule, but keep doing things exciting within that schedule and keep switching it up so that you are never creating really heavy, heavy, um, heavily indented like thought forms, thought patterns in your brain because then these become habits and if they're healthy habits that's okay um, but even healthy habits can become so routine that we check out of life okay now when we check out of life we're not coming from the now moment and we're running on autopilot and our thoughts are going from the future to the past and everywhere so that's what we're trying to not do so I'm going to give you some examples of how you can um, break your habits by doing different things so it's 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 kind of just about making um, your regular routines that you have that are good for you. So if you've checked in with your intuition and your heart and you know that exercise would be an important thing for your life. For me personally, I have to exercise. If I don't exercise, then I get really low. Um, I can fall into depression. My hormonal balance goes off and I get <clears throat> extremely moody. So for me personally, I have to exercise and I like running and I like doing yoga. Those are my two favorites. So um, so what I do is if I'm, I run, I run around a lake and the lake, you know, it's a big lake. And what I'll do is there's two different directions. Like it splits off into two different ways. So sometimes I'll go this way and sometimes I'll go the other way because whatever way, um, you're going, it's going to be working out different muscles because some, you know, goes uphill here. And then if you go this way, it's downhill there. And so you're using both sides of your body and you're keeping things in balance. Not only that, you're not always doing the same thing. And I don't decide which way I'm going to go before I get there. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I like decide right away and kind of make it more spontaneous. So you want to make your life spontaneous. You want to talk to new people. You want to um, go different places. So if you're used to going to the same place, you know, for tea or for coffee or, you know, the same store all the time, try going somewhere new. Try experiencing a new environment. Because when you experience new environments, it breaks your, your, your patterns in your brain and you're able to create um, new things more easily and you are more in your body and you're more in the now and you're not running on autopilot like I talked about before. So we could use this in another example. So if you drive to work on the same route every single day, try to go a little bit different route. Try to, you know, take a another turn that you don't usually take. Drive past, you know, a street that's that has a lot of beauty. Um, go, you know, just go a different route, like leave a little bit earlier if you have to go to the slower route that's maybe through a more scenic, um, you know, has a more scenic view so that it's more beautiful for you, more calming. Um, listen to new music you haven't listened to before. Um, yeah, so I drive my kids to school in different routes all the time, and that's not intentional, I don't think, because my brain automatically works on doing things different all the time because I get bored really easy. It's why I know so much information about so many subjects because I'm a five life path and five life paths are sort of like jack of all trades. So they know information about all these different things. 
And so for a five life path, the struggle doesn't come in in doing something different. It usually comes in to um, doing the same thing enough times to kind of really experience the depths of it, which I have done in the past few years. Um, this is actually the most boring my life's ever been. Um, but at the same time, I've completed a lot of things that I wouldn't have had I been traveling here, traveling there, doing this, doing that, da 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 da. I used to be like that, like to the point where it was not stabilized and not scheduled. But for the most part, what I can tell in people's lives is that they have a specific way of doing things all the time. They eat the same foods. They just do the same thing, and that that is not good. It's not good because it keeps you stuck in your patterns. It keeps you stuck in your habits. And if you're stuck in your habits all the time, then you can't break free of that. So the way to break free of your habits and, and the continual um, thought patterns, um, most of those probably being negative if you're not in the space you want to be in, is to use your actual physical body and do something different. Because your body and your mind are connected. So what you do with your physical body is going to affect your mind and your mental patterning. So obviously you want to pick activities and things that you do in your daily life that are in alignment with becoming your best self, with your mission, with your purpose, with your health, and um, through be and also in alignment with being a better person in general. So as long as your new habits are reflecting that, um, then that will be great. But even new hab even new healthy habits can become routine. So if you eat healthy and you eat the same thing all the time, like I often do, sometimes I have to get myself to eat something different, um, which is very good for your body and your brain. It, it kind of stimulates you, you know. So I'll have to eat like a new recipe that I haven't made for a long time. Um, and then it's, I find that very good for my body and for my brain and for my overall life. So... Um, if you find yourself going round and round and round in the same circles of thought, um, round and round and round in the same emotional dramas, um, actually get your physical body moving. <clears throat> it's super important to use your physical body because this is what we have access to. We have access to using our physical body and we are in the physical realm. We are in the third dimensional realm, and a lot of spiritual people tend to utilize their upper chakras <clears throat> and, and oftentimes escape into their upper chakras so that they don't have to be in their physical body. Not always the case. A lot of people that I talk to have um, very strong um, lower chakras, but um, this is the physical world and this is what we're working with. So... Um, it's much easier to, to actually work with that within that realm. Um, yes, so break your habits. Break your habits. Another good thing to do is to always be consistently aware of what you're thinking on a daily basis. What are the mental loops that you get yourself stuck in? And what are the activities that you do when you get yourself stuck in these mental loops? It's time to break free of those thought patterns, of those habitual ways of doing things that lead to the habitual thoughts that we think. And create new thoughts. Create, if we're thinking a negative thought all the time and it just won't go away, start creating a new thought. Start putting something in its place. It'll seem like it's not working at first because it's like, whoa, you know, um, like you could use an example of like, I don't trust people. Well, um, you can, um, instead of like going to the extreme of saying, oh, I trust everyone, you know, because that's not necessarily helpful because in a sense that would tell your brain, oh yeah, right, and make it worse. So we don't want to do go that far out. But um, if you're not trusting of people, then you could say, oh, you know, I, 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 you know, maybe trust this one person or Oh, that, you know, that feels right to me. I don't, maybe I don't need to be so untrusting. Maybe this is just like a thought pattern or belief that I have in my brain that I, that I could like start to work with. So just start thinking a little bit better, a little bit higher. 
um, whatever that next step for you is, in a sense, the next higher thought that you can think from that lower point. And then do physical action steps that lead you to where you want to go. It's about, it's about action steps, um, but at the same time, um, it's about being in the now and letting, letting things just kind of flow in the now moment as well. So it's always a balance. You're always balancing stuff, but try not to get stuck in the same routine every single day um, and do something different. Do something that you've been wanting to do because that's going to uplift you. That's going to bring you happiness and um, optimism to your life and excitement for, you know, new things, new experiences, read new books, meet new people. Just try one thing that's different today if you can, and um, it's going to really help. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.